Hi guys, and welcome to Town Hall Episode 11, a Heroes of the Storm podcast focused on everything related with the game. Today, we bring you back just the four normal people that we have every single week. No guests this time. To the left of my cam, you will see MLG Everything, Mr. Solid Jake GG. Jake, what's your actual title over at MLG? It's actually MLG Everything. I do everything. Uh, <laughs> my job title is producer, but I... I, I I'm all over the place, honestly. Uh, yeah, yo, well, once yo. they realize you can't do production, they kind of just threw you everywhere else. Yeah. Rip. Rip. What do you want? <laughs> Rip. I don't know. If you've seen any episode of Town Hall, you'll know this is true. So. Yo, mute those mics. Mute those mics. <laughs> no, I'm good. Big smash announcement today. We just talked about it on the pre-show. Uh, scrambling around trying to figure that out. We got patch notes for Heroes of the Storm, that type. And, uh, yeah, I'm here. Glad you're here, man. Below him, we have former Smash tournament organizer and current celebrity lookalike. It is Omega Black Mage Corey. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I was expecting something ridiculous, but a reasonable introduction this time. Yes, yeah, okay. I got your back, man. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, I got to enter in the tournament over the weekend that CS Steve put on. That was a lot of fun. Good experience. Although we didn't yeah, get with other people, you know. But hey, it was fun. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing that. Playing a lot of heroes. Playing some new heroes. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Google Johnny Depp Ball. Like, <laughs> that? That's what I Googled. Oh, my. Okay. And finally, beneath me, per use, it you're is supposed to say, second. you're supposed to say, last but not least. Well, and you be failed. <laughs> you just, <laughs> well, that that be I don't like I'm just, I Now I'm just the last button. guy. I have a bone to pick with last but not least, because that means someone else on the show is shit. And you're like confirming Someone that. It's, so is, what? Is what? Is what? Yeah. Is, is poo poo. We gotta work on this whole entire cursing oh, thing here, goodness. buddy. He's already up to five? Yep. Johnny Depp is a handsome man. That is Not impressive. But, anyways, Kevin, StarCraft <laughs> caster, you've done everything. Everyone. What's up, man? Everyone. <laughs> well, uh, I'll tell you what's, what's going on is what happens when you do everyone. It's not good. Mm. <laughs> I gotta go to my doctor. Anyway, no. Found, found, found uh, actually, found you. I am really upset, <laughs> and this kind of, this kind of, I guess can can segue. But I didn't get to cast anything this weekend. No. Um, but I did actually start putting out some video content, so I'm pretty happy. Um, and I've already started to get those really sketchy. Hey, you want more views on your YouTube account? And I'm like, dude, I already did everybody. What else do I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do we find those videos, Kevin? Uh, Wait, you can plugs go out the end of the show. Plugs the end of the show. No, you can do it now. You can talk about the video now. Plug it now. Corey just wants to unplug some electronics so we can hold up the wires. <laughs> no, I keep it unplugged next to my desk. Just, just, just have a spare plug. Plugs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Oh, God. I can agree with you there, Kev. I would have loved to have been casting this weekend. Yeah. Soon. Eventually, guys. Eventually. Yeah. Let's just dive straight into our show notes, guys. And we're going to talk about that tournament that we were all just referring to. King of the Storm, number one, happened this weekend, hosted by CSD. Had a lot of great players playing, a lot of good teams. Um, I, I just want to get, as a spectator, because uh, I didn't wa get to watch any of it, how was it watching Heroes of the Storm you know, without a cast? Like, what, Was it a fun game to watch? Yeah. Um, I, yeah. Mean, I thought it was interesting. I mean... It, it, it's different because I'm so used to playing the game and it's it's fun to watch what other people do and watch their their habits and whatnot. So I was kind of watching it more as a, a player watching a player than a, than a spectator. Um, but at the same time, it was cool. Uh, the level of play was you know pretty much what we expected. Um, nothing crazy. I, the game definitely can go a lot further. That's for sure. Nobody's anywhere near like how good they're gonna be in you know even if, even two months from now. Um, but yeah, obviously it would be nice to have a consolidated stream with all the matches broadcasted on it, and eventually I'm sure we'll get there once once the game actually has a spectator client, and it might not be till beta, but I thought it was a decent experience for what I caught. Those yeah, who no, streamed I... up with a delay, uh, it, was, it was pretty good to watch just to hear the team banter, uh, to hear how they're communicating with each other, and to, to see what sort of strategies derive from that. Uh, I thought that was the more interesting part. Was at least the winning team, they had posted up their like, six-hour VOD, and I ended up catching the finals. And I thought that was probably one of the more entertaining parts. But I'm not so sure how that appeals to the masses. But 
Yeah, it was fun. <clears throat> Kev? Um, playing in the tournament, uh, you know, Corey and I got kicked out round one. That was nice. That was nice. Yep. Good job, hey, yep. Corey. Um, but it was, I, think it was, I think it was really awesome to watch it uh, because, you know, in a way, I really did see, like, the flaws in every team. I saw the different kind of, uh, you know, like, the strengths and weaknesses of a lot of things. Um, team Frozen was just terrible. I agree. Um, <laughs> And uh, you got O2, son. You got O2. Yeah, I yeah, know. We are at no least I didn't get disgraced talk. later on. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm undefeated. I'm undefeated in tournament play, so. But uh, no, but but uh, I think I think the really important thing is that there is a lot of things that I think a lot of people can fix. Um, but the games were still really close. I feel like most of the time, and even like you weren't ever really positive that someone was about to lose because of those snowball like reverse snowball mechanics. Um, I mean, Corey and I were up, I think, three levels on our second le- uh, on our second match, we and even then, I was then watching that one. I was I was we, watching Alvine stream for that one. I was and we thinking. we came right back. Uh, or sorry, they came right back, and we lost. So, well, okay, rephrase that. They didn't come right back after no. three throws. They came. No, back. well, no, we had, that was, we had wait, was that Dra- Dragonshire? Yeah, it was a yeah. Dragonshire match. That was Dragonshire. Yeah, we lost at nights, and we lost four of our people at nights, and they were. Two levels down at that point, and they came back up to our level. And then after that, it was just like bad decisions left and right. Um, so it's you know it's engaging gameplay. It's 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 there's comebacks. There's you know there's being ahead. There's comebacks yep. and everything. So I, I thought it was really awesome to watch. Yeah, I agree. I if mean, there was a more like organized odd system, I probably would have watched more of the matches. But yeah, yeah exactly. I, mean, I think. But I think as soon as you get somebody who's calling out what's going on and actually have that commentator in there, I think the experience will be ten times better, at least. I mean, one, And it was already pretty good. One of the biggest concerns, I mean, you just addressed it, but one of our biggest concerns when we first started playing the game, when we first saw the game, was this game looks like it could be really snowball-y. And like you said, three-level advantage, we thought that might be like you just win the game. But that's that's far that's very far from how it is, and that's fantastic news because the number of times I've been in a winning position and thrown the game or our team through the game and vice versa, and we saw it in the tournament. Um, yo, it's it's great, it's huge. The, the or how many times have you been watching a Dota match where it's just like the first you know? I can't watch League of the game. It's just like I was watching really EU LCS ahead. like a week ago. I can't do it anymore. It starts too slow. <laughs> it, it like the forty minute of, matches. Well, like, I, I mean, I fall asleep. Aside, but, if if one team gets a huge advantage, it's it's that's pretty much it. You can just turn it off. All right, I'll tune back in in forty five minutes when they're starting up the next game. But I mean, that's not the it's case. True. No. Nine so. times out of ten, that's true. I mean, yeah, you're still going to get stomps in this game, but it's not going to be as prevalent oh, yeah. as oh, yeah. in, as any other game. And uh, I feel like uh, so far it's been pretty cool. I, I mean, I'm actually at the point right now that I'm not sh- certain if the snowball mechanics, the reverse snowball mechanics, are actually too strong. They might be. Because it feels like I mean like any like you could be you could get like eight of the right moves and just stomp them all the way and then all of a sudden you make one misstep like that that play at nights yep. and they were immediately back on our so it's it's difficult you have to be absolutely perfect to win yep. so it's difficult true. yeah difficult well, to one, think, uh, one what's bad the engagement best. at the end of the game they take all the merc camps yeah you could lose right there so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see when the more tournaments come out. Unfortunately, we gotta wait for that. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, <laughs> there's an issue there. I don't want to just elude from it because let's just talk about it. I mean, there's, right, there's pa- we can avoid the rest of the patch notes, but one of the things. In the whoa, patch- whoa, 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 whoa! I get to get to talk about the tournament from my perspective. Okay. Can, can I do that? Okay. Hey, hey, he, fine, Soya. He, he brought up a topic, and I thought it was a good segue. Well, we're not leaving the tournament. Right, Listen, fine, you don't want to hear about how you lost the next round. All right, so yeah. <laughs> I actually got two rounds ahead of you, sir. Oh, whatever. You still lost. Sir. <laughs> All right, let's take a sweet look at this bracket. Yeah, man. You had the bracket loaded? <laughs> he does. What a prepared guy. I like it. <laughs> Headshot. Yeah, All right, let's I talk mean, about Team Frozen. Come on. Give us, as, give us your sugar, a baby. As tournament player, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um... For some reason, uh, when's Arthas versus Let's Get Dangerous, their first match took an hour and a half. So we had a lot. Like I said, we were watching Elvine yeah. stream for your match. We had a lot of downtime. Like that was the last round to finish. But uh, our first round was 
Both our first and second round were actually kind of stomps. I think in the first round we had a less than 10 deaths total between both games. And the second round was much closer. Um, but it was Icy Hots, man. They were good. They were, they were like, we weren't expecting them to be that good. Like, let, let's all talk about this. Can we talk about Last Shadows team and how disappointing their results were after all wow. the hype they've had? Best in the Alpha. Wow. Best in Alpha, man. Last Shadow I Talks. That, I assume that, that was the like a player. He got Loco Doco, the like one another Diamond Korea player on his team. He's got the level first, the first level forty in the game on his team. And excuse ran, me, like, does anybody have a gun? Because there are shots being fired. Oh. <laughs> Listen, they had they were not prepared at all. In game one of their second set, they ran Abathur and Muradin. They were the people who ran Meriden. <laughs> it's like, who did this? <laughs> who would subject themselves yeah, to that? I like that. Well, so here's the thing. Here's the one thing that I want to say is that, um, is that I think when we actually get into these incredibly competitive 5v5s, that the, the, the standard team compositions that we've been thinking of kind of go on their head. And I think that there's a lot more versatility. Because, I mean, we were seeing stitches being thrown out a lot. And I, you know, looking at how when we normally play, we're like, Stitch is, Stitch is really not that good. He can, like, kind of take out one person out of a fight, and that's about it. I mean, but the teams that won all ran Stitches. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, we weren't that, like, we came into this tournament really prepared. Like, Slylaw, he, like, prepared, like, this huge spreadsheet thing with tabs and stuff. We were, like, doing mock drafts. We were trying to predict what we thought our enemy teams were picking, and for the most part, Excluding from game one of our first set where they had a really weird Gazo comp. Um, you know, a Wombo combo comp? Yeah. Well, no. They, we, like, they tried doing a Wombo combo comp, but then we sniped Zeratul and they couldn't do it right. So. Yeah, that's... Wait, wasn't that us before the tournament? No. Oh, because I remember we played a game where we went for a Wombo yeah, comp did. and your team <laughs> oh, just well, completely... That, well, it was Cursed Hollow. First round of the Cursed Hollow. It was first... uh, Haunted Minds. First map. Oh, of the so you guys, you guys had practice with our group, and then went into the. They, they, they like first pick Gazla. I'm like, well, they're going for Wombo combo, so let's snipe Zeratul. They don't have setup, and. Mm. Oh, I see okay. what you mean by snipes. I thought you meant in the game we're just like constantly. Focusing oh no 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 no! no, no. We, okay, we, right. we picked like we had a huge draft list like prepared. Like we went all out. We were prepared to picks and bans for every situation. What team we would run? Like what happens if they get double both Falstad plus Demon Hunter when we ban Kerrigan and Rainers up or something? Like we had a whole bunch of stuff prepared, and everything overall ended up being the way we drafted, it, except for Game Two versus Icy Hots. Everything ended up being the exact way we predicted. Hmm. I mean, there's such a few, like such a limited hero pool that I wasn't too shocked at seeing Stitches. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, can you talk about that second game? I'm curious as to what, what went wrong and what you guys had to, to That second to. game was, like, we had no clue what they were playing with that comp. They ended up picking Nova, which most people consider a subpar hero at this point in the game. They mm. picked a Witch Doctor, which a lot of people think is just bad in the current meta. They had a Stitches, and I forget their other two heroes. Like, their comp was just really weird, and they just split-pushed the entire time. Like, they had great control of the map. We were not prepared for, like, game two, we got stomped hard. We were just all over the place. You like, were we not had, prepared, but did you have an Illidan? Because they had, he's always they prepared. They had an Illidan. They had an Illidan. <laughs> like, that oh, was so the you only were one not that prepared. threw us off. Cause, like, we didn't think, see any Novas in the tournament. Nova is just, she's, like, really good early game, but late game, she's, like, the po she's the poison of the game. Yeah. Poison's mm -hmm. a great talent early game, but late game, she falls, it falls off. I agree. That's, yeah. that's Nova. So we weren't expecting to see Nova in that throw. So then we saw a Witch Doctor, and we're just like... What are oh, they doing? Yeah, I remember watching that. That was pretty interesting. That was on Blackheart Bay. They had a really weird team comp, and they wrecked us with it. We were not prepared for it. And then game one was <sighs> most frustrating game I've ever <laughs> Oh, my God. We, like, threw so hard in the early game, and we were starting to make a comeback. We were winning every single team fight, and then we were, like, we were being really organized and patient about team fights. And that final one, right before we lost, you know, our Diablo's like, 20 seconds on Apocalypse. And we're just, like, kind of standing on the edge of the battle for some reason. He's, like, and he's literally counting down his Apocalypse, like, 15 seconds on Apocalypse. But we're still just standing on the edge of the battlefield. There was no reason we should have been there. We should have just backed off, waited for Apocalypse. And then they collapsed on us when we had five seconds till Apocalypse was up. We missed the setup, and then we lost. But, uh... Hey, rip. <laughs> should have had I, a good I, Diablo. That's what I, I say. The main problem with our team was we were, like, individually as players, we're all pretty solid. I think I'm the worst mechanically on the entire team. I would agree. But, fuck you. But <laughs> Whoa! Money in necessary. the Necessary. Not necessary. But, uh... 
we had only been playing together a week, and you know, as everyone says, as Tim likes to say, this is a very team-focused game. When you don't synergize as a team, it doesn't matter how good you are as an individual player. That's why Last Shadow's team got stomped so hard. It doesn't matter how good you are at MOBAs. If you don't synergize as a team, you're going to get wrecked. And Game one was I mean, okay. that was really that was really our problem, was that you know all of our lane mechanics were absolutely leagues above the people that we were playing against, and no offense to them. They were pretty good guys. But it was obvious that their their team battles, their team, their synergy was just way better than ours because we had picked up Corey like two hours before the tournament, so that was kind of an issue that we I ran mean, into. Yeah, you guys hadn't played together ever, and and so you know we were you know when it was any type of lane battle like two v two, easy. We were just dominating every both those games, but then once we got into those team fights, is when we started falling apart because we didn't have that synergy, and. Is uh, Idra and I noticed that real quick. Idra and I, like, and Kev, we've been playing since week one of the alpha together. Yeah. And there are things that, they, like I said, Blur, um, Psy, and these they're all really solid players, like, on their own. But, like, there are things they just didn't know because, you know, they didn't have the synergy. Like, they weren't doing the things we were doing or, like, it, we didn't have the team synergy. Like, Idra and I were doing things that we were so used to doing with, you know, our, our previous team that they had no, like, uh, these didn't, like, none of them realized you could lower the Zeratul's Void Prism. They didn't know you what? could cancel it early. What? Oh and my god. That was two days that was before the tournament. Knowledge. I thought that yeah, was... That's what we thought. But that, they, they didn't okay. realize that two days... Like, that was two days before the tournament. And, <sighs> you know, we were trying to play toward these perfect build comps. Like, these, like, comps that we figured we'd be getting based off picks and bans. So we were putting some of us on awkward heroes at times. Like, normally we would want Idra on the carries. He's a really good Demon Hunter. He's a really great fall stat. But on, I think it was actually... Both of the games versus Icy Hots, we had to have them on Sergeant Hammer because we couldn't yeah. get a team otherwise that, like, a, a perfect team otherwise that had Idra on False or Demon Hunter because we had to have our other guys on them. So, like, I don't know. It, the picks and bans added such a cool thing to the game that. It, I agree. Brought, I agree. Strategy wise, it brought the game up like three whole levels. Like, That's I, awesome. I really, really enjoyed just how much time we put into the mock drafts and the theory crafting and then seeing it actually implement in a tournament and the only thing is i mean when you have an alpha that's only been out for x amount of weeks you know a couple months uh and you have you know and this is something we kind of ran into and this is why i actually didn't get to burst out my lurk oblo is because we had a team but not everybody could play everybody and when everybody's grabbing the best heroes that, you know, normally everybody's able to just play in solo queue, now you have, like, half your team is like, well, I can't play that guy. I can't play that guy either. I can't play him. Oh, they banned yeah. all my favorite guys. I don't know what to do. So I was playing Tychus on the second map when we had Limo playing Diablo. You know, he's a pretty decent Diablo, but he's no sham to lurk Oblo. Yeah, That's what well, in the same sense, too. I and you weren't, yeah, you weren't playing best stitches. hero. And yeah. he, the only character that the other guy could play was Stitches, so I was like, was well, Stitches. I guess I'm playing yeah. Tassadar, so, but, I mean, like, I could have been probably peeling a lot better in the team fights. Yeah. But, I mean, hey, we, you know. we yeah. prepared for I a mean, lot of situations, <clears throat> and, like, we had it planned out to where we would, we each gave our three best heroes, and we tried to have each draft set up, no matter what. We, <laughs> we don't went with the best hero. four heroes, and we still were running into issues. <laughs> and, like, sometimes we just had to put Idra on Hammer when we want him on Demon Hunter or Falstad. Or sometimes, you know, We'd have to play with an ETC when we prefer, you know, either an Arthas or a Diablo. Um, you know, it was it added a really cool element to it. At first, I was a bit iffy on the picks bands and not having mirror comps, but it, it brought so much to the game. Well, like, speaking of speaking so of picks and bands, I mean, let's take a look at it. Yeah, this is true. So have you got that Rainer Dell? Yeah, I can't believe. Like, I'm really shocked that there were actual games where Rainer was. That was a my thought. Band. That like, was my first thought. I'm like, who didn't pick Rainer? Like, seriously, do you not understand? <laughs> it must have been one of the first rounds. It had to have been like two two teams that just weren't really super aware of the meta. Yeah, that's the only thing that I can think of. I mean, Rainer because Kerrigan being the top band. Rainer's was, never bad. We all call, we <laughs> all call it that. Like Kerrigan's did, by yeah. far the best initiator, and Rainer's just ridiculous right now. So, to be honest, I am not shocked at all at like this entire list. If I was yeah. like list like a kind of like, maybe not that exact order, but Everything down all the way. I am not shocked by these picks or bands. Nova's a lot higher on the pick band than I thought she'd be. Hmm. Or on the pick I, I actually expected more more Brightwing bands, but maybe I'm just biased towards Brightwing. 
Guys, yeah. I'm just really surprised that Tyrael's not top band, top pick. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Tyrael's played four times. Actually, the winning team played Tyrael. What? Yeah. They actually said in an interview that they think Tyrael is one of the best heroes in the game. They think yeah. Arthas is the worst. I was like, what? You play the game so much differently than the rest of the world. Zoya, yeah. I know. That was exciting. You that was cool Tyrael to see all that. Week. Again. I didn't get to play. Like I kept the the whole week. You know, I was like, guys, yeah, you know, let me bust out Arthas at least once in this tournament, please. They didn't let me do it. I think Arthas. We could, I have, mean, done, we could have done it in the first two matches because those were kind of stompy. I definitely but. don't think that Arthas is bad. I think he's very good. Yeah. Um, well, we're gonna talk about him later in the turn. In the, in yeah. The show. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> but yeah, well, I mean, pretty much to be expected. Diablo only picked and 10 times. Was there any criticism for this? Like, you know, nothing. Like, of course, we would like casting, but was there anything, like, you didn't like about this tournament? Because, I mean, literally, as a player, I enjoyed all of it. Like, I, I no. thought this was added a lot of hype to the yes, game. Yes, I do. But on, I do. But on the other, I do. no. All right, well, I'm going to go first. Let me go first. All right, fire. First, what? not really a criticism, but shout outs to CS Steve, Matt. For, he did a fantastic job putting this together, running it, everything. Yep. So not you couldn't really wait criticism, for that. But you had to, you had to interrupt. Yeah, for no, that. I'm throwing it. Yeah, yeah, I did because he wasn't gonna say it. Go. He wasn't gonna say it. We well, said that at the beginning of the segment, but yeah. Pick was, bands great, didn't, picks and bands didn't have a time limit, which I mean, oh is yeah, that was so bad. And that's you know that's that's understandable right. and everything. There's no lobby. Um, How is he supposed to enforce that? I know, that's I know, true. I know. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, I get listen, it. guys. He get gets it. it. Okay. Thanks, guys. It. This is why we don't just have custom games over here. He it's gets it. just... He gets it. When somebody takes, like, 20 minutes to pick somebody, so, you can't know how to kill someone! So, if, like, if, I, if I can get us all Sundance shirts that says he gets it, get it. can we all wear those? <laughs> I wear it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like all like our, I said, we had the we had the mock drafts ready, so like literally we like when a situation will pop up, oh they ban this and we ban this, we pick this first. Or if they pick that, we so like we were getting our picks and bans done within thirty seconds, and sometimes some teams were like taking two and a half, three minutes for first pick. It hey man, it helped it helped my team because we didn't know what to do, but it still was it's it still sucks. It you know. Like, yep. There should have been a little bit. There, I mean, you know, eventually, eventually, there will be something. Yep. It's just, it was funny seeing right the. It was funny seeing the reaction bands because I think it was after game one of our first set, going into game two, like we put a Diablo game one, and then game two they banned Diablo, which I thought was funny, like seeing the reaction bands, which he didn't really do that much that game anyways. Uther, but. we did a reactionary Uther ban on um, what's his name? Trolden. Trolden. Or or the the really random out of the blue bands like nobody played Falstad game one and then that was their band Falstad. We're like, all right. But, yeah, I yeah mean, their front and foremost was Falstad. On um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I still don't. It get was that. just like I wasn't aware of anything particularly broken that Falstad could yeah, do on that map. I feel like who do we ban? Ah, screw Griffiths. Like, well, well, him Tim taking the top top shrine and then flying to the middle. That's we can't have any of that. I mean, <laughs> There's no I, way to play around. It, it, Dragon Shrine, I think Falstead is really good on that map. Yeah, it's, it's good, but it's but not it's, worth not banning yeah, Rainer or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like, I agree. I agree. Really, I think really... Falstead, that's Falstead's like least banned priority map is Dragon Shrine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, I'd rather ban like, him on huh? Curse or Blackheart Bay. <sighs> Maybe not Mines. Maybe Mines is the worst map for him, but even then, Falstead's a high My, priority. Mines is the worst, worst for him, I would say, yeah. But yeah, uh, Kratz to uh, Icy Hots. They played really well. That game two, they smashed us, man. Like, game one was back and forth. Either team could have won at any point, but game two, man, they they smashed us. I didn't get to see the finals, but I imagine it being a stomp. I think they they were the best team, and Frozen was probably the second best team. I didn't get to see any of the other games, but that game two, man, they smashed us. Don't shake your head, no, Kev. You got two would You don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you, don't know. <laughs> you don't know. But uh, congrats to the Icy Heights. Uh, did any of you guys watch the interview with them from CSC? Because I didn't get, did not get a chance uh, to see Yeah, them. I did. I, no, did. I, I, caught, I caught some of the bits after. Basically, he was asking him, like, why Abathur? <laughs> why are you picking Abathur? <laughs> and he actually had some interesting points. He said, "Oh, actually, on top of that was a follow-up question. He said, why are you out of lane with Abathur so much? Like, he actually, if you watch the games, he's, like, out in the middle of the lane, especially on, like, Dragonshire and stuff. And you're like, this guy's going to get himself killed. What is he doing? And then he was like, right. well, actually, if you have Abathur hiding in the bushes somewhere that the other team doesn't know, and he's absorbing uh, bribe counts there, and then if you have him... Uh, symbioted on some other lane. He's doubling up his bribe stack so he can like yeah. instantly take camp super fast. I was like, oh, you know what? I didn't even know that and didn't even see it while he was playing. It's, it's really yeah. smart. It's really legit. It's uh, We were experimenting with that for a while too. It's 
Yeah. I mean, I the thing about Abathur that. that a lot of people really like, I mean, I say that Abathur's kind of underwhelming right now because there's nobody out there that really is using that StarCraft to map awareness to be able to, like, look at, you know, where you're symbioting, what you're doing there, as well as looking at the map being like, am I about to die down at the bottom lane? As soon as watch, you can start uh, doing that is when you're actually, yeah. I know, I know, watch, no, no, watch I, yeah. I've, I've seen, were, he was very aware. He's very I'll good. Elsie Gamer, <laughs> yeah, Gamer can do that too. I mean, no. but it's just, you, you never ever see it, and so that's yeah, why I'm rare. just... It is very rare. Yeah. Once teams start being more vocal and, like, you know, you actually get map aware people on Abathur, he's going to be a good hero. I don't know if he'll be top tier, but he's definitely got, has a lot of potential. Sigara. Sigara, man, can't wait for her. But uh, congrats to Icy Hot. Big shout yes. out to CS yep. Steve one last time. That tournament was awesome. Um, it's yep. unfortunate that we uh, can't have another one this next week and hopefully it's not like this for a while because I had a lot that was the most fun I've had playing Heroes of the Storm this weekend I, I, yeah. like preparing for it and then playing and it was just awesome I had a blast you know what the most and fun I've had playing Heroes of the Storm was when I 2 owed you on ladder I don't even remember that um, <laughs> four specialists in a Lili it was <laughs> oh god <laughs> It was amazing. That was amazing. I watched that game again when you posted it on YouTube. It was a good game. <laughs> it was amazing. It's good I think I watched that game, actually. You posted it on your Twitter, right? Yeah. yeah. It was very yeah, silly. I watched it. It I was, it. was so was good. <laughs> it, was it wasn't even... It, it, was, it was just so funny because they just had no idea how to react. They were just like, what did we do? And when we got that wombo combo on them, it was just oh, like... Yeah. <laughs> like, you just got you just got four people exploding against four specialists like instantly. Like, how does it feel? How does it feel? Do you just you just stop playing this game? <laughs> it, it, it <laughs> was the second game. We um, played the second game, and we were on the reverse of that, where we were the four specialists and one and one Rainer, and we just got what the hell stomped. That game's not on not on YouTube for a reason, Kevin. It didn't sure. <laughs> Only upload the VB. People wanting to watch the. Uh... And then it failed miserably the next time. But yeah, yeah, like so I was going to say, if you want to catch the VOD, youtube.com slash it's there. And also the VODs for Team Frozen should be up by the end of the week for those wanting to watch our thought process for Picks and Bands. Yeah, I, I, really, I really enjoyed from what I saw people's thoughts on Picks and Bands. I think that was really the coolest part of the tournament. What, what YouTube is that? What's YouTube? Oh, it's going to be on uh, <laughs> Stormwatch. YouTube.com slash Good call, Jake. Um, good Stormwatch. Well, guys, we're actually going to go to a very quick commercial break. When we get back... We're going to dive into our favorite segment, Kubi's questions, as well as oh. talking about Barbarian, Arthas, and the patch notes. This is Town Hall, episode 11. We'll see you guys after this quick break. Meet your mic, fool! Why? Oh, I thought I hit the button! What are you talking about? I'm not muted? I don't know, this should be... This should be muted right now. Jake, you're not muted. Welcome back, guys, from the commercial break. Thank you all for waiting patiently. We're diving into our favorite segment, k k k Kubi's Questions! <laughs> hey, where's the graphic? I lost no graphic? it. I lost oh, my it. God, you lost it? Oh, my it? God. I think I deleted it from my computer. 
Okay, well, no Kubi's <laughs> questions. That's it. We're done. All right, we're done here. I that can't do great. it without the Good graphic. Episode, love 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 love. I did the shake and the dance and the c -c 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 Can you just... <laughs> We Can need tempo just... back with the with the burr, burr, burr. <laughs> I Just put that right. gif. Put put that gif on it's a as it's a gif. It's a, yeah, first of all, GIF. it's a gif. It's, it's a, a gif. GIF. The GIF. person who made it called it a gif. The person yeah, who made it's also an idiot. Graphical interface. Graphical. Gee. Anyway. <laughs> that aside. That aside. Kubi's questions. Let's do this. All right. So another scenario that I wanted to bring up. Sort of an interesting one, and actually maybe maybe Jared will have a little bit more insight based on his uh, tournament experience. We're going to be talking about specialists this week. Ooh. Specialists. In particular, I want, and this is going to be a group project. I know you guys like group projects. Oop, sorry group project. That. Okay, I want you guys to construct a four-man team that allows a specialist, and I'm thinking Hammer in particular, to push on the bottom or top lane of Dragonshire. What I want you guys to think about is how you can stall the map mechanic long enough to gain a return of investment on Hammer. Take it away. <laughs> well, first of all, I find Dragonite extremely underwhelming, like especially late game. The first one can be good for taking an early like wall, but at, once you reach a certain point, I'd rather have your hero in a team fight than a dragon fight. Like unless you're on some like I don't, I don't care what the hero is. I'd rather have your hero, like in most situations. Especially like once you're past twenty, don't pick up the Dragonite. It's it's completely useless. But okay, yes, yes, that's true. But if you give up the first Dragonite immediately, it's almost always you're losing that first wall and two towers, and you don't want to be giving that up right that's away. That's true. So like if you just decide oh, I'm going to throw Hammer in the bottom lane, and you don't have a strategy to keep the Dragon Shrine, then all right. So what's the plan? Uh, I mean, I think if you want to talk about like Hammer is. I don't consider her a specialist anymore. I, I consider her a range assassin. I put oh her my god, no, as demon please, hunter and Vaughn. please, no, no, I, hit, I completely agree. Range assassin. Yeah, she, once she hits level ten, she is such a bully. She is great in team fights. I do not consider her a, a specialist anymore. But so, like, when you say what comp can you build around Hammer for that map for pushing any comp, any any normal comp, whether it's two supports, three assassins, or well, not three assassins, but two supports, two assassins. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we'll we'll take this in a completely different direction. I can okay. Just, I, if you want me to rant about how bad Hammer is, <laughs> for if you want to make a fool of yourself, go for it. No, 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 no. Hammer's great. I've run the numbers here. Okay, she is very lackluster compared to all the other assassins in terms of damage. Well, output. of course, compared to like a demon hunter and a Falstad, she's mm -hmm. not as good. But okay. In a pick, pick, pick band scenario where you don't have a demon hunter of all set on your team, Hammer's a great option. And when she does <laughs> get level 20 plus, when she does get the 20 plus, she does more damage than either of them. She hits hard at max range. I would, I would, I would venture to say this: Sergeant Hammer is is just as good damage wise. You can look at her numbers and say, yeah, her numbers are not as strong. But when you have that 8.5 range, you are never going to not have a target. Demon Hunter and all the other damaged people, they normally have to jump in, jump out, etc. If you're Sergeant Hammer, you can sit in the middle of your team and take out their back lane like it's nothing. And not only that, but you will never, ever, ever not be able to hit their damage and just destroy them in seconds. And because of her no, age, destroy, she's... But... <laughs> no, because I'm saying age, destroy. She, she does like at... 250 to 300 damage at level 13 before she even gets her her uh, range upgrade. No, I'm sorry, yeah. Level 13, she's doing like 250, 250 damage per shot at level 13 at 8.5 range. That's going to take out somebody from the back lane in a couple of shots. Hmm. Yeah, Plus, but Napalm's you're trading right. off. You're trading off a ton of damage for just a little bit of. It's range. not a ton of damage. It's not a ton you of damage. Are, though. She's, if you look at the numbers fractional. for the other it's heroes, it's fractional. It's not fractional. You know, it's not fractional. The burst damage that the other ranged heroes assassins have is way higher. She's not burst. Yes, but the survivability. She's, she's sustained. Yeah, and the survivability that she, that Sergeant Hammer has. If you look at that match where I was talking about, we got stomped by icy hots, where we all had like six to seven deaths. Idra died once on Hammer, and it was because of a crazy hook in bottom lane that came from nowhere. She's very good at sustain. She has that massive range, and she never dies because of it. You're playing smart on Hammer, you'll never die. Demon Hunter and Falstead, you got to get in close to be able to do that long damage. 
She can just keep poking and poking and poking. She is great, fantastic sustain damage. Okay. Okay, but I will first off, Zoe, your camera froze. Secondly, oh. you just <laughs> you just you're so face upset. <laughs> you're so upset. Secondly, um, I will I will uh, I will I will entertain your your idea, um, okay. and I think what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two lanes that can push and sustain pretty well, and how I will <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Continue. Uh, you need you need two lanes that are gonna push, and I think you need like an Uther and a Brightwing, and those are gonna be in separate lanes, and then like uh, I don't know, like a um, like an Artho and maybe like a Tychus or an Artho and some other damage, maybe Rainer or Nova, maybe Kerrigan. I don't like Tychus. I don't like Tychus and Comps that aren't running like an executioner type type style. Yeah, I would agree. Like with the Rainer Art of War combo, which just got nerfed. It did. Fair enough. Um, so then maybe maybe Stitches Stitches top lane, so you can get Putrid Bile. So then you have uh, either Tychus or Rainer as your executioner. Um, and then you run Uther and uh, and a Brightwing or something like that. And then have your Sergeant Hammer push bottom lane, get that first tower, get that first fort. And then you can use her later on as your sustained assassin ranged damage. Hmm. I want to try this. I haven't played a lot of Hammer, but I, I actually really like what you're saying. She's, she's. It's a very, very particular playstyle because, as yeah, I no. said, I think that she actually is good if the meta evolves so that people are actually patient with their team fights. As it is right now, everyone just like throws Whoa. their faces against each other, and it's like, okay, well, who can do the That's most how- damage the fastest? And like that's what wins that's team fights change. right now because that's how you have patient. to play though. Like it when you have a Kerrigan right on your team, when you have a Kerrigan on your team, you have to be ready for those ganks. Like you have to change your play style to be a lot more aggressive because she's a snowbally type hero. You have to get those ganks early on, or she's going to scale kind of weird. You have to like adjust your play style for a lot of heroes. Yes, you're completely right. To have a hammer on your team, you have to be like, okay, guys, be careful for team fights. Positioning is careful. On Cursed Hollow, hammer is a very like. If there's like enemy stitches on Cursed Hollow and you're running a Sergeant Hammer, yeah. it's very hard to make that map work. Yep, yep. But you can. You just have to be patient. Probably give up the first two curses, sit in lane, try and get a fort somehow, so you're level 10 for the next three curses, so Sergeant Hammer's better. You are completely right in that. You have to be really patient with Hammer. But what if you are patient with Hammer, she's as good as a false set in a Demon Hunter, almost. Not as good, but she's almost as good. <laughs> So okay. while, we're, while we're doing that kind of... No, I would, say, I would say she's as good. I would say she's as good, honestly. It's and close. I think that she's got, I think she's got this pushing power that a lot of people um, disregard. She's a siege giant. She can literally sit outside of a fort or keep or anything with her max range, not, not sieged up, and still take it out. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Like That's there was a part though, right? on that Icy Hots game where we had a hammer, Blur was on him, and they were kind of behind their fort wall, and we're like, well, we're not going to get close to the fort, but we have a hammer. Why don't you just kind of napalm strike the wall down? And we sat there for almost a minute using napalm strike and got the wall down. Like, she's just, if you're patient with your team, I see, like, uh, Sergeant Hammer is fantastic. So I think it's all universally agreed that napalm strike is the only heroic ability to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've so, never I mean, initially, initially in the alpha, we were just like, oh my god, BFG is just, you can't deny it because... You can put it on. You can get Excuse the, me, the orbital you were the only relay. one like that. You huh? were the only one like that. <laughs> no, no, no. We were, in the very beginning, we were like, "Oh my God, BFG is amazing!" Because when you get the level twenty upgrade, it keeps going around the world, and you're like, "You can't possibly lose when you have this going on." You know, you're not gonna ever uh, because now your your enemy team's on a time or on a time limit. But yeah, then we realized that Napalm Strike was just way more damage. I well, so I didn't know that Napalm Strike was like like ridiculously low cooldown so like what eight seconds it's sick yeah no i think it's less than that i think it's like no six. it's 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 eight like i think eight, eight or, or ten, ten eight or something ten. like that it's very it's really fast it's awesome. very short form. um also kind of cheating because i'm totally stealing this in a way from the chat but the only reason that zoya's cam keeps glitching is because he's team frozen oh. ah! so good that aside it is six seconds Okay. Really? <laughs> it's very good. It's very the guy good. who hates Hammer knows <laughs> this. Now, I played a lot of Hammer. Don't get me wrong. I have played a ton of Hammer. And yeah, just, just the way that the wrong. meta game was working. She's bad. 
Yeah, like, I remember the first time no, Kev... Greg, I, Greg keeps playing her without getting the 8.5 range. She keeps going for the Giant Killer. And so while I do agree that Giant Killer going... Uh, getting Giant Killer on her um, allows her to do, like, 20 to 30% more damage against heavy tanks, I don't agree with that because her role, I think, in a team fight, and this is, you know, where we're all kind of still disagreeing, and this is where the yeah. magical world of an alpha is is to go straight for those damage in the back, and with that extra two range, you can do that. You can just skip the tank and go straight... <laughs> She's a tank. Skip, <laughs> skip the warriors. Them, I'll hang up on them right now. <laughs> <laughs> skip the warriors and go straight on in for the damage people in the back. There are a lot of ways to play multiple heroes. I remember when Kevin first started playing Hammer, it, like he was doing this really weird bill. I think he was still getting BFG... And Indra and I are no, you need to play it this way. The next day, Kev's like, I love Hammer. She is so much better this way. Like, he was going for siege comps and stuff. Like, you can only play Hammer one way right. There are a lot of ways you can play other heroes. Yeah, for, for I would Hammer. agree with that, 100%. But there's only one way to play Hammer right right now. There's, you yeah, can't yeah, there's, do spider mine build. builds. There's you one can't, build. Yeah, you can't do spider mine. You can, kind of like Kev said, you go for Giant Killer at extra range. I'm going Giant Killer more now, but... There's like other heroes you can experiment like in all the tiers. With Hammer, you have to play her this way, or she is just bad. You can't go Spider Mine. You can't go Siege. You can't get the move while in Siege tank, guys. I'm sorry how how cool that is to Starcraft people, but no. I think I think a really interesting aspect of your question is how can people play it with the Siege mode? And I think you can do it, you know, like or just where you basically Siege and take out a fort, or you know, all the way up to the keep and push the other lanes, is it's very possible. The only thing is you just need that map awareness. You can so totally siege up. I siege up quite often now because I will pay attention to the map. I'll pay attention to where everybody else is. And if I see that there's somebody that could possibly kill me, then I immediately unsiege and I'm just like just going with the auto attacking. But you know, you can siege up. You can create a presence in the other two lanes that the other team can't deny and then just push. I think we ran hammer four times this tournament. And no, I mean, she's a good substitute. You were for the her. only team that ran her. I'm guessing. Was there no, four picks was, for Hammer? She was four four picks. Yeah. Oh, then, wow. then maybe we only ran her three times. Was, I don't know. Okay. We, yeah, I we think ran, I saw her on another on another team. Okay, then we ran her know. three times. Like, well, I'm glad it was a, you guys because I'm curious as to how you were she, making she, it work. She, she gets she. Uh, well, we did notice that Team substitute. Frozen lost. So <laughs> teams that run wow. Sergeant Hammer and teams that didn't make it into the finals seem to be 100 percent correlation. Rip. Kev, you got O2, oh, wait man. A minute. You got O2. Yeah, Kev. wait a minute, wait a minute. You think that she's better than Nova? Yes, Nova's trash. Nova's so bad. Nova has like one That's or two purposes in a team. She's That's... really good early game, but she definitely does scale down. Like, I, I, don't even think she's, uh, I don't even think she's good early game. I can I, 1v1 a, uh, a Nova with Tychus. I haven't like, lost an engagement. Outside of how Icy Hots used Nova against us in Team 2, and I don't even think it was the Nova that we lost to. It was like how well they played together as a team and how we were unsuspecting that uh, Witch Doctor combo they had going on. But Nova is very underwhelming. Like early game, yes. Like if you are unprepared, if you're not good at seeing this, this what the hell? Rip. <laughs> what, did, what did you just do? I just heard something fall. Kevin dropped his keyboard. I think. No, he didn't drop anything. <laughs> um. Oh, oh no. about. You know what I dropped? The hammer. Oh my. Yeah, because she's garb. Oh. No, so I don't know. I, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna play a ton of hammer tonight. I think. I, I'm okay. really interested in that build. Not so, again. No, no, no. You can't. You can't did play you break her. something. No, uh, well, my iPhone. I dropped my iPhone because I was doing the update and I was just checking on it, and the the home button randomly bugs out whenever I drop it. Now, anyway, continue. I think that she's uh, pretty hard to play on the ladder or the ranked matches right now. Uh, I, and just like you have to have a very specific comp and specific communicated play style to even make her effective. Yeah, and even then, I think you know. I think the only reason that they pick Nova is because you know other heroes were either banned or picked against us. Like, so if I, you were, if there was no picks and bans, like if you're just going in the ladder to play and you know, random play, I, I would never like be like, let's get a Nova on our team. She's gonna add a like. I'd rather have every other hero in the game. I, well, I just, okay, I just not every. Wow. She's not that bad, but. I just want to say that Kubi's questions turned into Hammer Bammer time. 
Yeah, this, <laughs> Kubi's questions went someplace that's weird. That's fine. That's fine. That's, good what this, that's what this segment is for, man. It's good discussion. We didn't answer your okay, damn well, questions. So, but, <laughs> no, so, no, Kevin yeah. answered it. Kevin answered it. Fair okay. enough, at least. So I think, I think a really interesting question that kind of comes out of your question, then, is that if Sergeant Hammer is not possibly the best hero to do it, then who would be? For what? Pushing for push, lane? pushing a lane by yourself. It's either uh, her or a witch doctor. I was thinking witch doctor. With demolitionist, is that still a really junk? Is that still is that thing? still bugged? Yeah, I think it is. Unless it was never is. bugged. It was never bugged. That's it's kind of bugged, dude. The, the zombie, no, that your zombie circle like that. that your zombie it, circle completely depletes a tower. It in didn't a second. work like that. It never once. Yes, did it that. did. I've if seen the ammo go. <laughs> it did. <laughs> you're just not used to seeing demolitionist plus it shooting a wall at the same time. It looked like it depleted faster. Like I tried this a hundred times. He was my main. If you can even go watch VODs where people were like, oh, look at this working. Like, no, it's, it's depleting the exact same way as before. Like, people just... It, I fell for it, too. I was like, wow, this is depleting so fast. Oh, I, it's because I never ran Demolitionist before. Demolitionist and it looks like it's silly, yeah. Like, it was <laughs> never bugged, ever, <laughs> at any sorry. point in the game. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Well, I just, like, there's so many people, like, tweeting and, like, making forum posts, like, when they never actually... Yeah. Well, Confirm. yeah, I mean, no, I, I didn't, I didn't know that that was a thing. I was on I that hype train. Like, so I was like, "Holy shit!" Holy what? Money in the bank. Money, money in, the, in bank. the bank. We need, we need, we need, like we a, need a, a GG just button dollars that just come down. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We need uh, to get that Sir Scoots gift from the EG documentary or whatever yeah. when he's like, throw, or the Stefano <laughs> video or something where he's like uh, throwing um, the money. Okay, so. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I then, would say, I would say, which doctor? Yeah, which doctor? How about Rainer? <laughs> yeah. Rainer's the safer bet because if your strategy doesn't work out, then you got He's Rainer. Got, <laughs> he, can, he can get Demolitionist, right? Can, yeah. And it well, would only be the place of Path of the Assassin, which is good, but it's not the... You don't, I don't even get Path of the Assassin anymore. I get the improved heal. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, so but, put and, and that's and Demolitionist is not really bad on Rainer because he's... I, I'm going to be honest. He's pretty useless pre-10. Like, until yeah. he starts getting the Art of War Executioner combo going on and Hyperion, he's not very, you know, he's not an actual assassin. Hmm. He's just kind of like a ranged carry. Yeah. But he does have strong lane presence with the yes, big very good buff the minions. And he can usually push a lane forward if he's even facing one other person or if he's uncontested. Then, yeah, maybe Demolitionist isn't uh, necessarily a bad choice. No, Depends no, on who you're going I, don't, I don't play Rainers or play Rainer. He's a, he's a silly hero. <laughs> it's very silly. Is a silly. You get you get demolitionists and banshees, right? Yeah, get banshees, <laughs> and then the banshees take away the turret ammo. God. I'm quitting this podcast. <laughs> um, it's two weeks' notice. Isn't it? Yeah, I think Witch Doctor and maybe Rainer are a good substitute yeah. for push heroes. Yeah. Um, okay. I kind of want to skip Barbarian talk today because I would like to play her more, and we spend a lot of time talking about Hammer. Corey, cool. Is that, that cool with you guys? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we'll I can talk about let's, let's, let's talk about Barbarian next week because I really want to play her more. Because I see, I see Hots the game, the game one we lost. They had a Barbarian, and she was so tough to kill. And I really make, made me want to play her after after we faced. Oh, were, they running, were they running a tank build or a DPS build? It was double support. They were running no, 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 for, bar, for Barbarian. For Barbarian. Yeah, oh, for they bar. were running the heroic leap like slam build, the standard one. Okay. All right. All right. And it was so good. Like, we, we could almost never... Like, uh, keep in mind, they were running double support, so anything's hard to kill against double support. Yeah. But they were doing double support with Barbarian. And, like, sometimes it's just like, this, this yeah. she won't die. She just she, wouldn't die. I she, really want to play her more. She hits really hard. Yeah, <laughs> really she, she hits hard. really hard. Um, that, that spell, if you spec into the 150% damage, is the second strongest spell in the game. And it only has a one-second cooldown. Yeah, yeah, I think people crazy. are definitely sleeping on her. But we'll, we'll talk about her next week. We'll talk about her next week. I want to play her a lot more. Um, let's talk about Arthas, guys. Have any of you got oh, a chance yeah. to play him? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's very fun. He's very good. Uh, he's I'm, much, I, I, much better than before. He's, he's, yes. uh, it's not even comparable. He's not the same character. He's just he's, he's actually a very viable character now. Before, he was definitely garbage tier. Um... Yeah, he honestly actually rivals Kerrigan in terms of initiation almost. A lot of characters do not, but he does. Um, his ability to secure a kill or initiate in general is just fantastic. But I still hate playing melee characters. Yeah. He's the only <laughs> melee character that I enjoy playing, actually. Yeah, I, I don't I don't enjoy melee characters. Oh, come on, Zeratul's Zer Zer fun. Zeratul's fun. I haven't tried here's, Zer here's my Here's my issue, right? Rune tap. 
is so amazing. Yeah, it is. That there's absolutely no reason <laughs> why you would ever, ever, ever get anything other than Rune Tab. I agree. Yeah. And That's a, well, why the hell don't they just make it his trait? Yeah. I, uh, well, okay. I disagree with that part there. But there are a lot of heroes out there where there's one talent in a certain tree that you get no matter what. That's not just Arthas. There are a lot of heroes that that situation pops up. But, I mean, it's not even... Uh, really, with Arthas, there's no other question. I can't think of a single other hero where there's, where there's like, a maybe... Do you really want to make that claim? Who who else? Really? Uh, you want I mean, to no, I mean, I'm, I'm seriously trying to think of right I'll, now. I'll it's, look it's, right it's, now. I can find you a good book. Yeah, I'm sure yeah I'll have to look through the talents. But, too, I mean, but like, if, I'm think, if somebody's like, name one talent here for one hero where there's absolutely zero question about it, I'm just like, Runtap. That is a good point. You will always get Rube Tap. I need to. Uh, well, like pre pre nerf Rainer, you have to get Art of War Executioner to make him effective. You have to get that combo. Yeah, I can agree with that. That's a, that's a flat out example uh, right there. You have to get that combo. I'm looking through heroes real quick. Well, I mean, I mean, no, even then, no, even he's, then. he's very subpar unless you get those two talents. That's not true. You can right, get, like, giant so killer. Like really average. It He's is. Average. Okay, comparing... Okay, Raynor's always good, even if you win anyone without talents. He's good. But comparing <laughs> Art of War Executioner Raynor to not Art of War Executioner it's a huge okay. drop off in damage. Okay, yeah. I can understand that. But there's still, like, you could... Raynor's still pretty good without, like... Without that, he can okay, go no, for, like, giant killer... He can go for He can go for giant killer berserk, right? Arthas... Is garbage without rune tap. No, you're changing your statement. Now you're saying this character is bad without this. Not there's no other options. This character is now bad without this there's, thing. There's you're singling out options. one talent. There's still the other Earth. options for Rainer, and he's still. It's not. It's not that there's no other option of Art of War. I'm saying you can still get like Giant Killer, and you Rainer would still right. do stuff. It's right, not a question. There, and there still, is there is still a usable. He's still usable without the Art of War Executioner combo, but you're saying Arthas is completely yeah. trash without the Rune Tap. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's that's really what you should be saying. Not like, oh, there's no other options on this line. It's that he is bad without this single talent. Again, this again. single talent makes or breaks him. Yeah. Okay. okay. I can. Yeah. Change the way you say things, Kev. Damn. Change the way you <laughs> no, talk I mean, to me. So I still, I still, I still go by with what I said, which was. Well, yeah, no, Rune Tap. No, you have to get it. I think Art of War and and Giant Killer is a question. You can Execution. make that decision. Or yeah. Well, no, I mean, those are on two different tiers. So you it's can either, make the mistake can of not picking it. Art of War, all right. <laughs> or you can go with Giant Killer Berserker. Sure, Rainer's not going to be as effective, but maybe it's for a different type of build. However. If you want to go for, um, what are those other ones called? I don't, even, I don't even know. You can go for the other ones. <laughs> However, the other ones on Arthas, nothing compared. Yeah, no, the, I nothing. can agree with that. Yeah. And yes, I can agree with that. makes and breaks the champion. Room, hero. He does need room tap, but I really do enjoy his passive now. It adds a lot to him, um, especially when you build talents properly. To so say that you want to remove his passive and just add room. Rune tap. I, I would switch. just like that. I, I would switch. Well, I, you have to build his trait in two different tiers. Is how I do it, and I would that would you'd have to like change a lot for that. Yeah, I, I think it's fine how it is, honestly. Like it, I do agree, rune tap makes or breaks him. I, I don't know if making that the trait making the trait would fix that though, because I like his current trait. Maybe they could give something similar to rune tap, where he just has um, life on hit, similar to the way that um, demon hunter works. Instead of life tap or rune tap, it wouldn't be as good. But yeah, why would you get it? You're right. <laughs> scrubby question. Was, scrubby question. Uh, the uh, passive is do you trigger it or? Well, I mean, obviously. Yeah, yeah it's triggered. Okay, you you Auto trigger it. It's not like when you hit something. Yeah. Oh, some sometimes they're just like the first thing you hit after it's off cooldown. Then okay, I just I haven't played much Arthas, so. Yeah, that's uh, I can agree completely with Jake how he said that he's got initiation rival to Kerrigan. Yeah. If you land your W on someone, especially when you get the uh, talents early on or later on. Um, you can always 100% of the time get your Q off, which is a 75% slow. I think that's the highest yeah, that's slow very in the game. It's, it's Things so do not good. Get it. It's not if stuck, I get hit so by Kerrigan that, I'm like, is better. No one's arguing that Kerrigan isn't better, but it, it almost rivals her initiation. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he can he can hit multiple targets. Well, so can Kerrigan. Yeah. Not, not with the Q, but... All right. 
No, the Q is yeah, only not with the Q. Yeah, Q is single target. Q, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. A w, the w, and then whenever the W, uh, whenever you get the talent that anything it passes through, it gets uh, rooted oh, as well. It's so good. Oh God, that's ridiculous. Go ahead and bring up the talent shake. Let's let's go through his talent tree real quick. Okay. Um, I, I I've been meaning to write a guide for Arthas, but I got really lazy. Normally, I get Frost Presence <laughs> because his W is his initiation. It like almost. Hmm. There, there's so many times where it's like, guys, we can initiate as soon as my W's up. And if I didn't have that two extra seconds, it just makes things longer and longer. I, so I always get the W. I mean, let's uh, just up. read these. I mean, Path of the Winter. Warrior. He's, yeah. Warrior. It, <laughs> what the what? Path, path, path of the what? Path of the Frozen. It's really small on my screen. I'm sorry. I yeah. have the game super small on my screen. <laughs> it's not okay. Path of the Frozen either. Path of the Frozen. Um, team Frozen. <laughs> team Frozen. Frozen. Uh, anyways, yeah. I mean, if you're going for tanky, I don't think he needs it. He's tanky enough. Um, He's with with yeah. the heel, yeah. Yeah. At least yeah. the way I build them. Frozen He's... wastes. No. I never do anything for the E. The E always just feels even when you like build purely E and you get the slow on it and stuff. It's yeah. It feels very underwhelming. And uh... I mean, maybe with like a weird like super executioner type build or something like that with like a team. Even I mean... then, your W yeah, and then... Q is enough. Yeah. To probably. Really... Yeah. And I I can't fathom ever getting bribe on him personally. That just sounds awful. Not Especially anymore, the new no. chain. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me on tier four, I actually or tier two rather for the level four talent. Um, I actually hop around a lot. I, I'm actually sticking to reduces the cooldown of Frostmourne hungers by ten seconds now. That's the eternal hunger trait. Before I was getting the crit because crits are awesome. Whenever you can time a crit properly and just deal a huge amount of damage, it was like double damage. Huh, like yeah. that's awesome. He already hits hard. And sometimes I was getting poisoned, but normally now I stick. Uh, I've gotten really good at spamming his trait, and because of a talent I get later on, the 10 seconds is actually a really big deal. Um, so I, I usually get Eternal Hunger trait. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I would agree with that. Sounds good. Okay. I was using the, the, the crit for a very long time. The crit's awesome. Like Being able to choose when you do double damage and then increase damage for an additional, uh, I think, 6 seconds, or however long the trait lasts, yeah. is huge. Yeah. But, uh, a quick yeah. aside, is there ever a need for superiority? Like, Does anyone ever run that? Um, I mean, if you really think about it, that's including tower damage. Yeah. So, so that's like, actually kind of nice. Yeah. It, but I, the only I, thing I, is, if it had anything to do with hero damage, then I'd instantly probably I'd I'd say that's actually hero not damage a bad. is like no, not fifty percent okay. hero damage, but like if it was like fifty percent, whatever the heck it is now, and then five percent hero damage negated. Well, I find myself tanking towers a lot because he is very tanky when you get the right talents, like Rune Tap and then Frostmark Feeds. Like, you can just run up and tank a tower. So I could see that being like, oh, okay, that would be nice. Yeah. But over the other talents, not sure, no. Yeah. Like, it does have a place, but yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe a super, you know, pushing type of thing. I don't know, like a Kubi question. Maybe when, they, you put uh -huh. him with, when you put him with four specialists. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we already talked about okay. Tier 3, Level 7, Rune Tap is yeah. pick or die. It's yep. just it's too good. No brainer. Uh, I get Syndragosa. Um, a thing that a lot of people, like, for some reason don't realize is Syndragosa freezes buildings. Yes, it freezes yeah. towers. Huge. And, uh, and we, like, uh, we'll be like, oh, well, maybe we can't take this fort. We should back off. Oh, wait, no. Syndragosa's up. And we can dive, like, especially if you're fighting, uh, like, uh, uh, Haunted Mines, when you have your golem pushing and you're pushing with it. Normally, you don't want to dive underneath the tower and get in a little awkward situation. You can freeze all the turrets and the fort. The golem's not being attacked by turrets or fort because those will prioritize the golem, which means it's going to live longer. And then you're diving, or even if you don't have the golem, you can dive under towers for kills and then secure the fort pretty easily. Syndragosa is really, really good. I can see Army of the Dead builds, but you'd want to change up how you get your heal. You wouldn't need rune tap anymore with Army of the Dead, and maybe some of those other towns would work, but... Syndragosa is just so good for pushing. I mean, but I, I do agree that Arthas is one of the one of the few heroes that does have two good heroic abilities where you would definitely mix them up because I've seen some really good uses for Army of the Dead because they body block. So if you can pin someone, they will just swarm you and they will screw you up. Yeah, they're great to heal yourself with too, but for body blocking alone, they can really put, you know lock people out of fights because with Arthas, when you run in the middle of a fight, yeah, you can root people down, you can slow people, but you summon all the ghouls and you just separate them. And if it's a weird positioning, it can be really strong. So another thing people need to realize is uh, the ghouls target or pri like Hyperion prioritizes the ghouls. So if you're really worried about Hyperion, because they, like, they count as minions, so they yeah. so they prioritize them. 
Interesting. That's cool. So like, that is actually kind of on on cursed map or you know any map where you're like going to find yourself out of lane and you're worried about Hyperion, you can get um, Army of the Dead and it will absorb every blast from the Hyperion. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, fifth tier, I'll, we already talked about Trail of the Frost. Any uh, hero that gets anything that pa- passes through also gets frozen. That's what I usually get. Do you guys play with any of the other ones? I normally. I mean, like- here's the thing: is that the other talents on this are really good, but they're just yeah. not that good. Yeah, they're not as good as that. That's amazing. You can hit like three to five people. Yeah, it's yeah. it's so strong that I would never get anything. Like, like I could see situations where, like, if you're getting CC'd ridiculously, maybe relentless or spell shield. Mm. Um, you know, if the, if you're really like lacking a lot of tank and you have enough CC already, then you can skip it. But that's still really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next tier, um, well, I already talked about how I don't like any of the E talents. Like I do use E a lot anytime I'm pushing away a wave or you know, like anytime I'm in a fight in melee range, I have the E up. But every time I've tried, you know, builds where you're buffing it, it just feels not good. And I don't play, like I said, I play Syndragosa. Frostmore feeds getting you that extra heal allows you to play without Army of the Dead. Uh, it, it it's kind of hard to tell because sometimes it's like two percent doesn't really feel like a lot, but if when you get like I said earlier, a combo with other talents, when you get to ten seconds off of um, the trait, it like every twenty seconds you're healing two percent health for okay. five seconds. Hold on, let me get this right. Every time you hit somebody, I actually, I, I don't think I actually played around with this because I think I read it's it. So and good. It was, it was so, such a long description, I just kind of skipped it. Um, anytime you hit somebody, for the next five seconds, you will leech 2% of their max health every second. So 10% of their health anytime no, you no, hit no, them. No, no, no. Two. No, no, no. no, no. You, no. you you're, leech you're the it. 2% over five seconds. Yeah. Oh. Does it stack though? That's my question. Does it stack? No, no. Every hit, attack you hit, you yeah. leech two percent of their health, and you over heal five much. seconds. No, no, oh, no. Okay. No, no, no. Yes. So you hit them, you do X amount of damage, and then you get two percent of their health to heal you over the next five seconds. Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. No, really. That's because that's how it's worded. That's exactly how it's. It's worded, confusingly right? worded. That's for sure. That's why I read it, and I was like, I don't know what this says, and I can't read, so I click something else. <laughs> Every auto attack leeches health is how I've noticed it working. Maybe I'm just yeah, like, yeah, no, it's such a small asking. number yes. that but maybe it's, it's, it is the other way. Maybe I don't know. It's, it's basically, it's basically um, Blade of the, the Ruined King, except you steal all that life. So yes, so if you hit somebody, you do 2% of their life in damage, and you get that in health, as a health over time over the next five seconds. That's what I understood it as, yes. Here's my question. Because does, and I don't think it does, because I really would like, I think I would go for Fury of the Storm 100% of the time if it did. Does that proc every Fury of the Storm hit as well? Well, apparently I had no idea how this trait worked. I thought it was every attack you do, you leech, like, you know, I thought it was leeching your, like, you were restoring 2% of your own health. Because apparently I don't know how to read. That You're you heard stealing it here. 2% of theirs, and it's going to you. <laughs> no, what I thought it did before is every time you auto-attack, you restore 2% of your health. Wow. No, no, You're no, stealing no. 2% of their health. Yeah, yeah I get that. Arthas, worst Arthas NA. <laughs> oh no, my I'm God. the best Arthas NA. It, the healing is going to be about the same. Like, okay. I, you could see the healing being done. I just didn't understand how it perfectly worked. Uh, well, does it proc a Fury of the Storm? I've gotten Fury of the Storm, and I've used that. I've never been like, holy shit, explosive healing. So I don't think Wait, it what? works the way bam, you think it will. Bam, bam, money, money. Money, money. <laughs> um, okay. You know, I'd really love it. I'd really love it. It doesn't work it. with Fury of the Storm, because I, I pick Fury of the Storm half the time, and I would have noticed if it was like every minion hit. you. Well, just... I mean, okay, because if you think about it, like if if... Fury of the Storm proc basic attacks on those on those chains because then you'd also hit Giant Killer on every Fury of the Storm proc as well, yeah. which would be awesome and overpowered. Yeah. It does not work that way. It doesn't stack either, does it? I don't think it does. I'd be really based sure. on the based on the wording where it says can be applied to multiple enemies at once makes me think that the only way you can get a lot of healing out of it is by hitting many people. Yeah. 
And but I could be wrong about that. You can <laughs> get a life steal. Well, I don't know. Uh, Jared, is that the case? Can you can you stack it? If you hit somebody twice, do you get four percent of their health over you know what what ends up being maybe six seconds? Yeah, but I don't think it procs off Fury. That would be broken. We're gonna have to test this out and find out yeah. for sure. Yeah. We'll test I, it like, in the custom game. I would have noticed if it, <laughs> somebody bust out the calculators. We I would have noticed if it works off math. Fury. So I get Fury half the time, and I would have noticed if it procked off Fury. Yeah, that'd be a lot of healing. Like you wouldn't, like you, it would be like explosive amount of period healing if it, you yeah. leached, like off of everything you're hitting that extra amount. Yeah. But yeah. no. But, yeah. And then yeah. level the final tier, level twenty. Um. Sometimes I get the Cinderella Fly Spawn, or sometimes I get Fury. After game one versus Icy Hots, and how much Resurgence of the Storm was just denying us map presence and the ability to take forts, I've got a new respect for the talent. I might That's be getting it more. <laughs> Resurgence it's, is very good. Yeah. Resurgence like it, is I, really good. I've never seen a team that, like, multiple heroes had Resurgence and how much it was denying your ability to push. In. Yeah, because like, you're so used to having that advantage after killing someone. And it's like, oh, they're back. I might yeah, be playing Resurgence. Seconds, on just one is Diablo. I mean, all, really, all two, like, both Fury and Absolute Zero are like, I mean, eh, on Arthas. So, like, I just bounce between them. Every 120 seconds. It's so short. I feel That's like it's, two I, minutes. I feel like they're going to nerf it eventually. They have to. Yeah, yeah. They after, have to. After seeing how it just completely stalled out the game between... Like, the Icy Hops game was six was 36 minutes long. Wow, that's really long. Like after seeing that game, it's it ha- like it's gonna be tweaked later on. Like they yeah. just completely denied us. Like I, like those two, like their barbarian and Illidan both had resurgence. That's m- the main reason they won that game. Like they just was able to like just deny us so much map presence. It's, we were not used to that. It's so scary in Illidan. Like it's so scary in anyone. But but when you have when you have carries doing crazy damage, like I see it being like a, a good talent for tanks and stuff. Because tanks aren't like super carry, like super super scary because they're not carries. Um, but when you when you give to someone like Illidan, they come back in the fight and they just wreck you again. They can just like there's a lot less risk for them to just jump in and kill a couple people that don't have resurgence because not every hero in the game can get it. So if they can right. snipe a character that doesn't have it, it's like completely worthwhile. Every well, time. look at it this way: like you win a, t- a team fight and like you come out where you lost to, but they wiped you wiped them. You're like, oh, we have three people. Let's go take a fort. Oh, wait. They, we are all at like a third HP. They have a full life barbarian in Illidan. Yep. We can't push anymore. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so it's insane. Strong. Like I've never seen it like used like that. Normally it's like <laughs> that guy got a resurgence. Good luck one v four, dude. But in that situation, man, I don't know. I've never seen it utilized like that. Uh, I've got no respect for the talent. Cool. Let's. We got patch notes to talk about, guys. Patch notes. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> mm, Although we've kind of brushed up on a lot of them already, but yeah, um, the oh. main one we talked about. Actually, we never really touched on it. Custom games have been disabled um, for whatever reason. Blizzard wanted to. Uh, I really am upset about this because last weekend's tournament hosted by CSD, shout out to him one last time, uh, was awesome. It added a lot. Um, I personally love doing scrims. I don't know if you guys ever do scrims, but we've done scrims quite a few times since they've added custom games, and I, I, I like it. You know, we're not. On the ladder, just destroying random people makes them, you know, their their atmosphere a little bit better. Like I, I don't know what would happen if I joined this game today and just got wrecked by, you know, icy hots. That would just be very demoralizing. Um, so it was nice to have a place to go to do customs. And yeah. I'm upset. I'm salty, guys. Uh, ranked ranked is still not in the game though, is it? Nope. No. That's... Yeah, so it's it sucks, but I mean they they probably had a lot of reasons to do it, and yeah, it, it'll be back. It'll be I can't back. wait. I want it back. I so, want it back. Let, let, let's power through this. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, that sucks, but it, it's fine. More information can be found here. Did you guys read this? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't. I did not read it. I can't read. I, I, I haven't. Honestly, I only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read oh, it. it just says we disabled it. Blah blah blah. PR PR PR. Okay. Um, yeah, it was no. You'll get an error. Yep. Um, um, Aggressive healing. It cooled down. Right wing got nerfed. Healing pull. Well, kind of nerfed and buff. Healing pulse is reduced from once per five. Oh, like this trait, like I'm getting the one Kevin talked about from now on. Yeah, um, me yeah. too. Me too. That I was mean, why I was it, confused because I was like, well, doesn't she already have sort of like you can pick one or the other in that tree? So it's like, why yeah. did you nerf the heck out of this they, one? They nerfed it into the ground. So, well, now everyone's just going to take the other one now. It's like not yeah. really that big of a nerf. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, regenerate regenerative rains every time now. Honestly. Yeah. Um, 
The majors being to me, it just it it really was. It really doesn't make sense to nerf this so so badly because in those thirty seconds that you've are you know that you're going to use this this burst, that you're going to have you're going to cast five spells. Yeah, yeah. No, I I think it's. I think it's. So this is really this is really weird. I really don't understand it. Forty seconds. Fine, but sixty seconds that's that's a lot. That's, sixty seconds yeah, yeah. and only four heals. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, there's I, absolutely no reason not to get the other one now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's a no brainer. Easy like uh, like way Corey phrased it was perfectly. It doesn't nerf the hero because the other one was basically just as good. It was just more of a play style thing. Yep, right. T- twi- slightly tweaks tweaks how you want to play her. It's not a nerf to bright wing, it just yeah, Everyone's she's, gonna get she's the other still a fine character. Yeah. yeah, she's still. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah. I just, I mean, I mean, it is a nerf to to that yeah, that I'm, one. Time. I'm still that sticking sucks. to her. She's like, <laughs> yeah, that's you not enough to get her. Isling said in chat. Oh god, that guy cracks me up. Um, oh no. I, Kevin and I were arguing about this earlier today. Um, <laughs> bribe change. I actually like it. I really like. There are so many situations, like on Curse Map, when you're going for the second tribute. People can have bribe by them if they're if they're on top of their stuff. Like especially a Brightwing, she can get a bribe really quick. Like on Brightwing, I was getting bribe stacks, just teleporting between lanes, having people like not push, before two and a half minutes. Yeah. Nights before then is insane. Yeah. Now this doesn't change at all. You bribing giants. Giants are the exact same when it comes to bribe. You just gotta bribe two different minions and you know slightly slower, like by a, a half a second, but. This is great for like bribing knights is just so strong. Like there's so many times where you, some people built comps around bribe. We saw it a lot this tournament where people were like, "We need uh, to have a bribe on this map." It's, it's almost just, ma- it's almost mandatory on mines. Like yeah, somebody's really, got to take bribe, and everyone's fighting to get that. bribe. That's a great, that great point. Mines is a great point where you want bribe. This yeah. just doesn't make sense it. to me because I mean I know a lot of people are really all about knights, but I find that siege giants are just as scary. So I feel it's weird. That they've nerfed the bribe tonight, but not there the are so many giant. pushes, and that's why so, I say it's awkward. So, so, so ha- this new change to bribe actually makes me want bribe available on Gazlo because Gazlo doesn't have bribe. But if I if I could take knights at level two because I or like level three because I can bribe like one of the knights and then take on the other three. I would totally that, do that. Yeah, but then Gazel's not to, a lane hero, though. You'd have to be in lane with Gazel. That would just defeat yeah. the purpose of Gazel. You're staying lane for the two levels. Yeah. Right. Not only that, right, but, but that's only for the initial have... bribe. That's only for the initial bribe. I do agree with that. I do agree with that statement. Well, then, then you'd be getting, getting rid of the salvaging reduces your cooldown trait. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Not only that, but then you have a hero that not only bribes, but then also has super mercs. Yeah. So that's kind of overpowered too. Yeah. Way to break the game, Jake. Yes. That's why you're not I, a balance. That's like that's like an <laughs> executioner kind of build. I, I guess right I didn't think that one through. But I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's going to change the game a lot, and I'm actually really excited to see how different it is because um, it doesn't. I change, think it doesn't it, really it doesn't, address the issue. It doesn't change giants. Or giants how? weren't the issue though. Like because of the way the knife buff, knight buff works. If you don't know how the knight buff works, it gives you bonus attack speed, yep. bonus attack damage, yep. and bonus like, ability power damage. Yep. When you're pushing yep. with knights, that's it's so huge. Yep. And just being able to be like, well, I was sitting in lane on stitches. <laughs> Let's go get knights, guys. Like, yeah, you can't do that anymore. It makes bribes still good because, like Kev said, bribing giants is still just as good as knights almost. So it's still good as a talent. People still want to pick it, but it also makes it less overpowered. I think that is the only way. Like I, I didn't think of it. Like how do you tweet bribe to where it's not completely useless now? People are still going to pick it now, and it's still good. But you're no, just, lo- you're no longer going to see people just bribe the night camp on haunted mines and then immediately get that that free push. Now, now the night camp is going to be a huge point of contention. Or I can't think. Of, I can't pronounce that word because I'm a moron right now. That's, that's yeah. Anyways, you're right. It's okay. Good. Okay. Good. Good. It's a long day. It's a long day. <laughs> okay, good. I'm um, not an idiot. <laughs> yay. Um, and uh, that's going to be. I mean, it already is a uh, you know a really big part of the map where people engage a lot, and there's a lot of team fights that happen there. But um, you know, the number of times where people just bribe it and get it for free, and they just have like an immediate advantage, and they can go in the mines earlier or whatever. Um, I think the change to bribes is going to really, really improve that situation a lot. So, for, for I don't know. I think, specifically, I'm, I'm happy. I think, like, I don't know, maybe just because when I solo queue or when I when I pre-made, if I bribe Siege Giants and then jump into 
and kill another set of siege giants and I have a four siege giant push, it's way better than any other push that's going to happen. And then you put all five people top lane or different lane and they win. So that's why I was just kind of like, it, I find it weird that siege giants didn't get changed at all. They're so much easier to kill than... Yeah. They're, uh, like, and when you push with knights... I think fight... people don't use them... I don't think people use the, the tactic advantage of having four siege giants in one lane, having to need one to two people down there to b bother with them, and pushing all five in another spot. Well, that's just talking about siege giants' power. Like, you can, like, look at Dragon Shadow. There's so many times where I've had six siege giants pushing bottom, and none of us had a bribe. Like, that's yeah. just the problem with... That's the siege giants being good. They're just... I'll think, yeah. Before, a team that had bribe versus a team that didn't have bribe, usually the team that had bribe has, like, you know, a, a, an advantage in the matchup. And now, it's less like that, which, I don't know. I, I think this is a it's great change. Fine. Cool. <laughs> fine. <laughs> great. I'm glad. Um, we jumped this discussion now that we all disagree, well, now that we all disagree I think, with me. Yes. I think you're the only one, yeah, that thinks Moving so. on to Illidan. Um, I, I think only people at the lower level were having trouble, like, were like, oh, it'll do nerf, like, Memphis is no, too strong. But I was kind of shocked when I saw this, it's but... It's still really good, either way. It's not bad. Uh, it's not a super nerf, he's still good. It sucks. Yeah, like, I think this was to cater to, like, the non-1% people who, like, play this game as much as we do. Right. Like, the rest of the population. Like, well, when, when, you, when you're in a... Every time I solo queue, and I'm in a team fight. And I'm like trying to spread out, and then the four dudes. In my oh, you team... said you solo queue. That's your problem. Oh, yo, sorry, man. I play at weird times usually. <laughs> I think something else was about to come out of your mouth. <laughs> um, good, good save. Good save. It is, it is absurdly strong in that situation when you can't coordinate and everyone just bunches up. Um, yeah, but there's so many other heroes that punish that though, like Void Prison. Like there's there's a bunch of it's not yeah, just Ray, no, Bright not... Wing, Elden got nerfed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Moving uh, on to Rainer. I was a bit yeah. shocked. I thought it was uh, a bit of a knee-jerk nerf. Yeah. Rainer changes uh, probably needed to happen. Yep, I agree. Like, we had comps designed around where we were, like, if we've got, like, with certain picks and bans, if we ended up where they, like, no, like, if they didn't ban Ker Kerrigan or Rainer, we wouldn't ban them. So they would either pick Kerrigan or Rainer, and if we got Rainer, we would build an Executioner comp. We would get Rainer, Demon Hunter, Tychus, their damage skills so well with Art of War on. Um, you know. I just, yeah. I don't... Okay, call me crazy, but just get rid of Executioner. But it's so good. <laughs> you mean you mean get rid of the talent in general, or get rid of it off of Rainer? No, off of Rainer. I mean, like, okay. there's, the issue here is that the build synergizes together in a way that you can just kill anybody. Like, just get rid of one or the other and give them something else. I mean, who knows what they'll do, but I'm actually not against that idea. I'm not against nerfing Rainer ever. Like, he's a dumb <laughs> hero. He's, he's, he's really freaking strong, and he's only stronger because you have two talents that are right next to each other that just synergize in a way that they just... It's, it's just a circle J. Right there. <laughs> circle J. Circle J. Oh, so such, that, that's such a, PC. <laughs> that's a kind of bird, right? Yeah, yes. I think it is. I don't know. I'm just, I'm sorry. I, I really just, it's the alpha. Why are you doing number tweaks? Just do something drastic. Go show me the numbers. Your face okay. is drastic. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great space. Uh, I, I mean, I like the nerfs. I don't, maybe Executioner needs to be removed off him. I don't know. That hmm. still makes Executioner, like, heroes playing with them still pretty good. Um, I don't know. Or get rid of Art of Wars. What, just get rid of Art of War. Give it something else. I don't know. Everybody turns into a bunny. Moving <laughs> forward. <laughs> yeah. um, random fixes, bundles, and Max. No one plays with those, so who cares? Um, I play with Max. They change the leveling system for Quest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm actually kind of upset because they said that they won't be like reimbursing, like, reimbursing yeah. the experience. Because like, on Arthas, I'm missing like so much experience from those yeah. quests but yeah. the good news is because the last few weeks i've been preparing for this tournament i've only been playing three heroes so i still got a bunch of quests i can do on all the other heroes so it felt really t like if i was level 40 right now i would be so upset right now how much games they grind out and like look how like this is so much Perfect. easier look at the like did anyone compare the experience game from like before yeah. and after it's, it's a lot. Uh, like it, actually, it's no, more than fifty percent, right? Yeah. It's gotta be. Like it's this is huge. Yeah. 
I'm sad because I just cranked out a bunch of my like quests and whatnot. So it's like, oh great, <laughs> these quests that were almost complete that I just cranked out like yep. yesterday. You were the first person I thought of when I saw that. I was like, Jake's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, I was just like, well, I'm glad it's alpha because otherwise it'd be yeah. really salty. Yeah. Um, but that's what alpha is. What, what, what can you do? I mean, we all kind of felt like the leveling was much slower than it should have been. We were all feeling that it was pretty grindy. But uh, I'm glad that they changed it. I'm, you know, I'm happy with this. And, no uh, nurse to Kerrigan. No nurse. How do yeah. you guys feel about that? Um, I think she's the perfect hero. <laughs> And they should balance around her, not nerf yeah, her. Yeah, I, I, I agree with exactly what you just said. Don't nerf her, balance around her. I agree. I completely agree. Make okay. her, like, the, the standard point from everybody. Yep. The only thing is, and this is actually a really a really great point that somebody said, and I said, you know, I don't want Blizzard to nerf anybody. I want everybody to just be buffed. And the thing is, you, have, you do have to consider the fact that Kerrigan comes with a lot of CC, and that's a lot of why she's good. She also does a lot of damage, and she has a lot of sustain. One of those does have to get nerfed. I don't think that yeah. she won't be nerfed because you can't have you can't have everybody be CC sustain damage heroes. I, I, she Just is go like ultra this, bro. That changes everything. <laughs> she is like the tank assassin, though. I mean, really, she's she is. she she can she can replace it. I'll be honest. I thought she was a tank for a long time. She's everything, and I I understand. Yeah. I really she want everybody to be overpowered. Nerfed, but I would like everything. <laughs> I would like nerfed. a small nerf to some of her sustainability because she gets in the middle of your team and she won't die. Maybe worse. the only thing I can see her being tweaked on her passive with wouldn't destroy her is yes the shields. Her passive. Yeah. You can just slightly tweak, yeah. just not like over nerf it, just slightly yeah. tweak yeah. it, yeah. lower the numbers a bit. I think she'd be perfect. I fine. agree with that. That's exactly what and I mean, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm not like you know. They fixed Tassadar, which is the next patch now. Um, Listen, I have less than five games played on Kerrigan, so I'm not like a Kerrigan player like riding the hype. Like, please don't nerf my hero. I think she's the perfect hero right now. Like, I think yep. the game should be balanced. Like, I'm not a Kerrigan player at all. Okay. And Kevin, you look you look great right now. The way the the way the lights hitting your pasty. Yeah. I was gonna say pasty complexion. <laughs> That, this you is a this show. Anyway, <laughs> here are um, Tassadar. Tassadar got fixed. Yay! That's great. I, We're all happy. Part, partly fixed. Partly now fixed. we can. No, that's that's a major. Hopefully, fix. we won't be only yeah, yeah. seeing Archon anymore, except for when Icy Hot actually played Force Wall, and it worked kind of most of the time. So. Now we can. Now we can all rejoice and hate Tassadar again. Yay! I'm gonna be um, thinking about them fixing his E though, unless that's intended. Maybe that was uh, gonna... I mean, the only thing is just damage over time things. It's not a massive. No, we're talking about the cloak. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that too. That's well, his good. his thing says invisible, not cloak. It's true. So many stealth changes. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> wow. So uh, I don't know. I don't know about Tassadar right now. I I kind of feel like uh, he's in a good spot. Other supports, really, just Tyrant. I think Tyrant is the only one that I really kind of look down on right now. Agreed. To see that she didn't get picked. Um, I, I, think, I think second Tyrant we... and uh, Lili. I really don't like Lili. Really, okay. really don't like Lili. So Jake and I let's talk, talk about, about Lili really quick. So we're gonna. This is our Lili segment. She's okay, really good. Is. She has a lot of sustain, but she is incredibly boring. Done. I don't even Again, think she's really good. I don't know if I talked about it on this show. We've titled her the girlfriend hero. You put your girlfriend on this hero. You tell her to spam buttons, follow you around. I don't. Done. I don't think she's I, good. I think she has a good, she's good. A good, a good spot in the game because she kind of teaches like new players how to play support because you don't have to, you know, have any skill. But um, she's, she's she is good. She's no, not. She's, no, she's her, fine. Her sustain. You put her in certain kind of compositions. Sustain. Her sustain is ridiculously good. Um, especially late game when she can use use her Q on herself and two other targets like like every three seconds. That's that's absurdly good late game. Um, but but at the same time, there's no basic attack heroes that I mean. There's okay. There's only a few basic attack heroes. Maybe a counter to Rainer. Her Q is okay, but her other healers are way better, and her W is laughable. Listen, However. Until here was my idea. I was hoping that it was like her W would attack and it would just be like a damage a, a buff to so like whenever you attacked. And if you put it on a Tychus, it'd be hilarious. However, that doesn't uh, work. <laughs> yeah. But 
I just I don't like Lily. Until... I don't like her ult because you can't do anything else. You just skip around looking dumb, healing everybody. But it's actually until not even I a saw great deal. Sai play Lily with us in a few of our comms we were preparing for the tournament. I thought she was really bad. Like I didn't, but like you have to like play her with a certain comp and I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. She's not the best support in game for sure. Yeah, like, no. she. But I definitely think she's better than Tyrand right now. She she does have a place. She's not bad. Do you guys really think Tyrand is that bad? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. I would pick Tyrand in like a triple support comp when you're like being silly. Yes. Yes. I think she's yeah. good for true shot. I think she's good for for offensive builds. It's not enough. If, it's not enough of a buff. I think the other heroes that are supports are better. Yeah. Might as well throw her. Yeah, I mean, I don't play her percent. very much anymore for a reason. I'm uh, not disagreeing with you, but her heal, eh, move speed buff that comes with it. Bright wings is better. Yeah. Bright wing heals now, better. Um, Bright wing stuns better. Yeah. Bright wing does everything better. Bright wing. Yeah. Bright wing. Bright wing. <laughs> Bright wing. I switched to bright wing um, for a reason. Uh, Uther. Uther does everything better than her, uh, except for range stun. So what uh, would they do? He's got an AOE stun. What should they do to Tirana to make her better? Increase the amount that her heal does. Yes, um, I, I think that would do it. I yeah. think her heal is she. She has a weakest shadow stalk it itself. Self, it I self think the coolest thing is her stealth mechanic, and I, I really like it. But I don't feel like it's ever like you know you only get it when you heal. But when somebody's healing, I almost like wish... if you're healing who you're supposed to be healing is supposed to be the tank. So if you're healing somebody, now why are they getting stealth? Because you don't want to stealth your tank. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, if you're trying to like get like a sneak initiate, yeah, you're, someone. but you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to yeah, but then you're using your heal to get an initiate. Then you're healing your damagey people, but now you're in a weird spot where it's like yeah, that's true. You're supposed to be healing your tank. I don't so I don't understand. I wish there was another way to well, apply. Well, if the, the enemy team is playing role. right, they should be targeting carries and supports, not the tank. So could they put? It, the, why don't they put the stealth on the owl? So that you have your teammates line up to the position that you want to see, and then anything, would, any teammate. Oh that yeah, would... let me be bottom lane and stealth someone that's across the map, just like <laughs> shooting a W across. Yeah, why that. not? Why not? That'd be so silly. That'd be fun. No, and uh, no, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Trick Slayer brings up a good point. The stealth does, is great for breaking triple tap, but no one goes triple tap anymore. So uh, yeah, I like so, the speed. Yeah, talent. it's the truth. It's, it's better to go for the move speed. The stealth mechanic is cool. I think it could be applied in a different way, though. I love her ultimate shadow stock or whatever it's called. Yes, I think that's that is great. great. That is great. That is great initiate tool. Yes, I will. I think it that. happened twice in the tournament where a team got like great setup on us, and we're like, "Oh, uh, we would have lost that if they were good." Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> such such <laughs> salt. We would have lost that if they were good. <laughs> so yes, that's. My um, issue, I think. I think that's last talent changes. Um, they fixed global ults on mines, so you can yeah. actually get your symbiote from above. You can uh, stage dive, precision strike, phasing shift is huge because I like. There's so many times I just wanted to teleport down on bright wing and be like, I'm here. I thought Yay, it's dive almost worth it going to mines. No, no, it's still not worth it going to mines. I thought stage dive already worked. It did. Uh, it did. It did. It did. And symbiote sounds... worked like sometimes too. I think yeah, it just okay. makes where it worked all the time. Maybe it was bugging okay. something. Yeah, too. yeah. That sounds. That sounds um, like but but that's that that alone. That's like so. I mean, as a bright wing player, I'm just like, I cannot yeah. wait to play on haunted mines. But no one's gonna go to the mines anyway. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna funny. go <laughs> there. I'm gonna go in there, <laughs> and I'm gonna be all alone with one other like you know solo queue player. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Okay. We, no, we had I, that is, that is actually really annoying because I was playing Brightwing all last week and it was super yeah, aggravating because I kept hitting like, haunted mines and I was like, of... oh, but let me have to go fly all the way over to the mines entrance and then z, z over to them, zip, I don't know. Four out of the six comps we had prepared for like from the mock drafts, I was on Brightwing, so all I played last week was freaking right, Wang. She is amazing, dude. She's so good. Did you play her at all in the tournament? I did. I played her, I think... Four out of six games. I only got to play Mouth twice. She's my favorite hey, character to play in the game right now. She's I played in front of it. I've done first time. game. I won't be getting bribe on her anymore. I was getting bribe like a third no, of the time. That's now, terrible. That's really that's really dumb. Well, now it is. Well, I don't know if it's dumb. Jake. I think I think compared to some of her other talents, it's 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 a poor. Well, there's only one other talent that tier you would get. That's the fifty percent extra damage in the key. Right. That's all when I you're ever. getting knights bribe in less than two and a half minutes, and then getting the other knights bribe in less than five minutes. 
Hmm. You can't tell me that's bad. I'm sorry. That's not bad. So I, I, call me crazy, but I've been going Path crazy. of the Warrior so that when I'm spamming spells, or Path of the Wizard, so that when I'm spamming spells. I was going to say, Path of the Warrior is not Brightwing, sir. With, with Brightwing? Spamming, spamming spells so I can hit that, uh, that passive of the healing mists, you don't have to worry about your mana going down. Yeah, but the thing is, you can always just, just Hearthstone back and teleport back out. With, with the 20 second cooldown... Yeah, I but then I'm out of the battle, Jake. Yeah, but not for that. I mean, yeah, I know you don't understand how a battle that. works because you weren't in the tournament, I, I but know. you don't yeah. want to be out. Anyways, Shots fired! I think Arcane Precision is too good to not get. I don't know if it's too good to not get. Now it is too good to not get. It's good. You should never it's get good. Bribe on Brightwing. But before, there was one. Like I said, I only got Bribe a third of the time, depending on the map and comp. We didn't have a Bribe, and we were on... Haunted Mines, or on Curse Hollow, where you're binking around a lot in between lanes. So, half the time? Well, comp as well comes into okay. factor. All right, all right, all right, all right. Almost got gotcha. you. No, that's good. You put a little caveat in there that saved you. <laughs> a little caveat on you, boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, we had a really long show today. Yeah, we did. We did good discussion, it. though. I like this. It was a good was discussion. Fun. I really enjoyed um, the, uh, what here did we talk about forever? Sergeant Hammer. <laughs> Sergeant Hammer? Kubi's questions yeah. morphed into Sergeant Hammer. Kubi, Kubi questions into Hammer questions. Uh, yeah, good show today, guys. Um, so you'd say it was. Stop. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> you you uh, make me hate the world. Uh, let's get some shout outs going, guys. Tunnel episode 11. Jake, my lovely hairy man, take it away. Mm, shout out to the Dark Black Forest. Um, shout out to my mom, who apparently watches the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, weeks weeks ago, I was talking about how I used to. I think it was the pre-show. I'm not even sure what part of the show it was. I was talking about how I used to crawl into the to my sleeping bag backwards and call it the rabid caterpillar. And she like called me and told me about it. I'm just like, what are you talking about? She's like, I watched your show. I'm just like, oh no, this is awful. Um, but, no, that's cool that she supports. It. That's that's great. She wants to know what I'm doing, so that's cool. Um, Yay! So yeah, legit shout out to my mom. Uh, Can we get town hall cookies? Yeah, man, that'd be sick. Yes! Um, and uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, on Facebook. No. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, my YouTube is SolidJakeGG, my Twitter is SolidJakeGG, and my MLG, which I stream Heroes of the Storm, Diablo 3, and maybe maybe some World of Warcraft soon, um, the new expansion, it's SolidJake. MLG.tv is SolidJake. So you can find me there. Way to be inconsistent. Sorry. Fact. Corey! Take it away, my frere. frere. I'll be at Omega frere. Black Mage. I only have one shout out. Shout out to Jake's mom. All right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, Kev, my dear. All you, babe. Shout out to that beautiful man over there for that. Um, no, but uh, uh, I want to give a shout out to CSD for running that tournament. That was awesome. Um, I'm I'm upset that we can't run another one this weekend, but also I would like to have a Sunday. Um, well, they're going to be on Saturdays from here on out. Shout out to <laughs> the rest of you for being awesome. Uh, shout out to Nintendo of America for everything that they did today. <laughs> uh, America. Yeah. Murph. America. Murph. <laughs> Um, but you can follow me on youtube.com slash m2. I just released my pilot plays of the week episode uh, on Sunday. They were terrible plays. Yes, yeah, so, Kevin made them. So, my point is if you guys out there in the audience have any type of awesome <laughs> plays, recordings, anything like that, please do me the favor and tweet it at me. Message it to, uh, to me. Sham2 email. at gmail.com. Uh, tweet at me at Sham2 on Twitter, or I don't know, send a smoke signal pigeon, or <laughs> send it over the clacks. Maybe a mail. I don't know. I want to get all of your awesome plays, and I'm going to do exactly what I did with that pilot episode, and you can check it out on youtube.com slash Sham2. <laughs> you guys can follow me What? How did that even happen? Like, I don't understand. How how does this happen? Kevin, look how red he is. Look how embarrassed he is. His, his forehead is actually as red as his chair. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Uh, anyway, close that's... the show, Jared. Close the show. Jared, please get us out of here. Uh, you guys could... I had to watch it on the bot. I just saw it again. Um, you guys can follow me at IVD Zoya on Twitter. You can check out my team, IVD Gaming. Uh, we have a StarCraft 2 and Hearthstone squad. You can check them out at IVDGaming.com. You can follow this stream right here, MLG.TV slash Zoya TV. Um, I stream Heroes, currently streaming Arc Age and streaming, um, you know, going to start streaming some Hearthstone again soon and all other games. You know, I stream whatever here. Um, shout out to all my co hosts. You guys can find the VODs over at YouTube.com slash SolidJakeGG. Uh, see you guys next week for episode 12. We might have an awesome special guest yet. It's not 100% confirmed yet, but could be someone really, really cool. Um, so the VOD will be on YouTube, and um, we'll see you guys next week, episode 12. Take care, guys. Peace.